World Team Billiards, the first international pro pool league. Ten teams from throughout North America, Europe, and Asia, formed from the greatest players on earth, led by pool's ultimate dream team, Team America. In this, the inaugural year of WTB, Team America is traveling the world, playing exhibition challenge matches against the other WTB national teams. After a sweep in Europe, Team America returned to the friendly shores of the good old USA, where they defeated Team Mexico and Team Asia, but lost to Team Puerto Rico. Tonight, from the Valley of the Sun in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, Team America is challenged by the World All-Stars. Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Mattia. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm with Hall of Famer Lou Butera. Tonight we have Team America going against the World All-Stars. Lou, a little twist in our competition tonight. Your team, Team America, going against the World All-Stars. How do you see this one tonight? My team is the Team All-Stars. Now we're going to find out. So without further ado, let's get to tonight's opening rosters. First of all, for the World All-Stars. From the Philippines, Jose Parica. From Taiwan, Feng Pang Chao. Also from Taiwan, Lu Kong Hung. From Puerto Rico, Mike LeBron. Also from Puerto Rico, Frankie Hernandez. From Team Mexico, Francisco Galindo. Also from Team Mexico, Marcos Marquez. And rounding it out, the captain of the World All-Stars from Canada, Paul Portier. And now for Team America. The giant killer, David Howard. Current World's Nine Ball Champion, Johnny Archer. The Rifleman, Buddy Hall. The King, James Rempe. The very beautiful, Laurie John Jones. The cool hand himself, the cool cat, Ray Martin. Earl the Pearl Strickland. Young Hoppy, Alan Hopkins. And last but not least, the Kimmer, California Cool, Kim Davenport. Now we talked with the team captains a little while ago. Let's see what they got to say about tonight's battle. I think it's a great idea and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have our hands full with them. So let's get ready to rock as the World All-Stars takes on Team America. We're going to be right back with tonight's opening lag and you're going to see it all right here on Prime Network. This program is being brought to you by Mayuchi Originals, custom pool cue makers, worldwide sponsor of World Team Billiards, the cue choice of champions worldwide. And co-sponsored by Connolly Pool Tables, America's best billiard value. And by Qport Cue Cases, manufactured by New Image Pool, proud sponsors of Team America. And by Clicks, the civilized billiards place. We're serious about the game. Jimmy Rimpy and Frankie Hernandez from Puerto Rico. Oh, and Lou, it looks as though Team America has won the opening lap. That's good to me. And with that, they will send out first the giant killer, David Howard from Jacksonville, Florida. Good solid break there by the Giant Killer to open up the match tonight. Nice break. Not a real good layout. He's got to thread the needle here to get uh, on the two ball. Not going to be too easy. He's going to have to go two rails and come back between the 8-5. Hit the shot perfect. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this great shot. He's in trouble uh, again, though, Lou. I don't know if he quite got Yeah, it looks like he's almost there. A little short mass A here, maybe, Jim. Nice shot. Great shot. Watching the giant killer from Jacksonville, Florida, two-time U.S. Open champion, little David Howard. Of course, he's not so little anymore, Lou. I, I knew him in the days when he was little. But, uh, <laughs> he still bears the nickname, though, the, the giant killer, little David. He's going to become the most famous name on TV. He's doing all the TV commercials here. And with
with shots like that, it's no wonder. Mm -hmm. A good start tonight for your team, Lou. Well, David's been waiting to get involved here and win some racks. He's just dying to play some pool, and he's doing a great job of it. Got a packed house here tonight in Scottsdale, Arizona. The Valley of the Sun as World Team Billiards comes well, to we, you again. We might have a three-rail shot here on the five ball, uh, possible, or a one-rail bank, one off the five. There are two balls that are, can possibly go here. He's playing. Didn't quite get there with either one of them. And I think they're going to have to shoot again. I don't think Team America wants any part of this one, Jimmy. Since World Team Billiard play may be new to some of our viewers, let's take just a moment to review the rules of play. The WTB format requires a team roster comprised of a minimum of five players and the maximum of seven players. The loser breaks. The incoming team has the option to shoot or to pass, which eliminates safety play. A player's turn ends when he misses or if the nine ball is pocketed. And intentional delay of the game is a foul and results in ball in hand to the opponent. Okay, well, with that, Johnny Archer says that's okay with me, and he'll take over now. Team America leading one game to none over the World All-Stars. The World All-Stars made up from players from the Philippines, Taiwan, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Canada. Many great players here. Have all these great players under one roof is amazing. Never seen so much talent in one night in my life. I think it's team. I think we're gonna get involved now. Watching Johnny Archer, the current world champion, 23 years old out of Twin Cities, Georgia, looking to take a two-nothing lead for Team America. And he does this stand. Say hello to Nick Varner and Mike Siegel. I'm sure they're out there listening to our broadcast. We wish they were here tonight. They're about the only two top players in the world that are missing from this room. It seems that way. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, the Miyuchi Originals and Conley Pool Tables. They've done a great job for this entire event. And uh, how about New Image Products with that beautiful cue case they designed with the flag and emblems on it? Beautiful. Right now, it is Lu Kung Hung from Taiwan. Ooh, barely missed that ball. He it looked like he was really trying to play it in the side pocket. It also looks like he's going to get a chance to shoot another one here. Buddy Hall, the rifleman out of Metropolis, Illinois. He says shoot again. He will give the shot to... Francisco Galenda from this Team Mexico. This a very difficult shot because of this two-inch slate. He's liable to bounce this ball a little too much. Well, he caught the caught point. Because he caught the point. Yeah, caught the point on the side pocket, changed the direction of the two ball. There's a good shot of Lori John Jones over there for Team America. And I'm sure little Jonathan is home watching Mommy. Talking about oh. TV. Jonathan Jones. Well, Buddy Hall with a rare scratch. And that will give cue ball in hand to Marcos Marquez, who plays for Team Mexico. But tonight, he's one of the world all-stars. Come here to Scottsdale, Arizona to go against Team America. Getting awfully quiet here, Jim, and I think tension is starting to mount a little bit. Well, this match is very important to both sides, to say the least. Well, it gives them bragging rights, that's for sure.
This, he could have been a little bit better. He might might have a little more travel on Whitey here than what he wants. Watching Marcus Marquez. He might have been okay. Oh, a little bit, a little close. It looks like it's a makeable shot, but uh, yeah, he's going to play it in the corner. I thought he might opt to play it in the side, but it's a nice shot. Very well. Marcos Marquez comes from Monterrey, Mexico. And it's, it looks like it's going to be a two-to-one lead for Team America here in game number three as Marcos Marquez says there's no problem here. And the World All-Stars come back with a win of their own. They now trail Team America two games to one. And with that, Lou, you and I are going to take a timeout. This is World Team Bayard. You're watching on Prime Network. Stay with us. A player has 10 seconds to break after the referee has racked the ball. When a player's inning begins, he's given 25 seconds to approach the table and execute his first shot. Players are given 20 seconds between shots, that is, from the time he strikes the cue ball until he strikes it again. The clock is reset after each shot. Failure to shoot within the allotted time is a foul, which gives ball in hand to the opposing team, except on the break shot. On the break, should a time foul occur, the opposing team gets to re-break. Two 20-minute periods constitute a match. If at the end of regulation play the game is tied, each team will designate one player to play just one game to determine the winning team. We're back in Scottsdale, Arizona. Jimmy Rimpey from Scranton, Pennsylvania, ready to take over this, the cue stick now. They are leading two games to one over the World All-Stars. Team America is. There's 12 minutes and 20 seconds and counting, Lou, in the first half of action here. Looks like a pretty nice break. I don't know if Jimmy can hit that one. It looks like he's opting to shoot a jump shot here. Oh, the half mass A is what he played. I think uh, our team is going to shoot again, though, because this doesn't look, well, I don't know. Paul is a great shot maker. Paul from Portier. Canada. From Canada. Plays a lot on those tough snooker tables, and he is a great shot maker. I don't know if he can see enough of this ball, though. Looks pretty close. Oh, he had plenty of room, and he made a nice shot. shot. Great shot. He says just routine, routine shot for Paul. Watching Paul Portier from Canada. This could be a little tricky here if he doesn't come up further. Now he's going to have to cross bank this one and possibly go for the nine on this shot. This looks like a possible two-way shot. Two-way shot. Banking the four cross side, sending the cue ball down table and trying to make the nine. He, made four. he missed the nine, but he made the four. Nice bank shot there by Paul Portier. I think he's going to have to make another one. And this one is going to have to be held up quite a bit. Whoa. And with that, we have a foul ball. The five ball has been sent to the bleachers. And with that, Lori John Jones. The thickness of this slate has an awful lot to do with those balls bouncing because when they hit down on it, that the cue ball is taking off immediately. So it, even though this does make for a great table, the players are going to have to use a little more caution and they're going to have to keep that cue level. Every pool table seems to play a little bit differently, doesn't it, Lou? I mean, you go into a bowling alley, the bowling alleys are all different, the golf courses are all different. It's no different with a pool table, is it? That's right, and a lot of it has to do, and people will be surprised to know this, a lot of it has to do with the humidity in the room or around the area that you're playing in. Well, we've got a packed house here tonight in Scottsdale, Arizona, as Team America and Larry John Jones take a 3-1 to lead over the World All-Stars. Oh, that nine came screaming back. I don't know if it went. It's the nine in the no. side, Lou. Oh. No, it got All cut off the way. pass. Cut well, I guarantee the you they're going to have their hands full with this rack no matter what happens. This is going to be a tough, tough rack to get out of. Well, Ray Martin doesn't like the shot. He has passed it over to Jose Perica. And Jose wishes he could pass it back to Ray Martin or anyone at this point. Look at this. We're not finished with the shot yet. Okay, looks like Ray's going to shoot this, but he's wondering what he's going to do with that two ball. He might be able to play it 
the carom into the five. If he gets just the perfect angle, oh, he tried to break it. A little bit careless there for Ray Martin. Ray Martin, a former three-time world champion from Largo, Florida. And once again, we will take a look at Feng Peng Chao from Taiwan. Ooh. Ooh. Almost pockets the nine ball, Lou. Well, what he did here is he left a three-shot game for Earl Strickland. Earl should make the one seven, then the one, and then maybe, uh-oh, he did get out of line there. You have to control. When playing combinations, you must control the first ball also. Control the cue ball and the object ball. Well, he tried to bank the one, and at the same time, Louie tried to pocket the nine down in the opposite corner pocket. Nice try by Earl Strickland. Mike LeBron will now take over from Puerto Rico. Mike LeBron now makes his home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've been teasing Mike a little bit here. He's the oldest player here, and uh, we tell him it's a senior citizens tournament, but the way he's played, <laughs> he's been absolutely great. Yeah, he's an amazing man, 58 years old, Mike LeBron, still winning championships. One of the great thing about pocket billiards, Lou, is it doesn't matter how old you are, how long you've been around the game, you can always play. There's even hope for me, Jim. I'm, you know, There's even hope still, for you. Still have a chance in the next 20 or 30 years to win another tournament. Talking with the Hall of Famer, the machine gun himself, Lou Butera, who won his first pool tournament, I believe, back in what 1873, <laughs> wasn't it, Lou? <laughs> Not quite, Jim, but it was close, somewhere around there. <laughs> Alan Hopkins is at the table right now. Out of the state of New Jersey, he is the captain for Team America. And doing a great job as captain and player. He's used some great uh, maneuvers and caused us to win a few times. Team I won't mention the one time that he caused us to lose, but... <laughs> Team America leading in the match, three games to one over the World All-Stars. That was a very nice shot. Three real positions when you're on almost perfect on the eight ball. Might be absolutely perfect. And again, who knows, he might swing three rails again. We're in game number five. And did first exactly half that, action. went three rails again, comes up almost straight inside. He could wind up on the rail. This would be a little tougher than what he'd like to shoot. A little bit of a look of disgust on his face. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Allen's going to come through on this one. And he did. Well, he does just that. And with that, game number five goes to Team America. They lead the World All-Stars four games to one. And with that, Lou Buter and I are going to take a timeout. You're watching World Team Billiards here on Prime Network. We're back in Scottsdale, Arizona with World Team Billiards as the World All-Stars have come to take on Team America. Right now, Team America leading in the match four games to one. We are watching Lu Kung Hung from Taiwan. He's got his work cut out for him here, Jim. He's going to have to spin this ball in and try and kill the cue ball and come two rails for that two ball. And that's not an easy shot. Well, he decided to let the cue ball go and maybe swing around four rails. A huh? little bit too far on this one. That was a tough roll. Well, anytime you let the cue ball travel that far, uh, you're allowed to get a tough roll. He might make it. Look at this shot. How about that one, Jim? Now you know why they're called the World All-Stars. Lu Kung Hung from Taiwan. Taipei, Taiwan, to be more precise. Great shot there by Lu Kung Hung. They're not getting any easier, Jim, but this, these kids from Taiwan are great shot makers. Makes it look easy, Jim. We are in game number six as Team America leads the World All-Stars four games to one. Ooh, that could, uh, he might be okay. I think he's got the seven on the side. It's not an easy shot, but it is a shot. And at this stage of the game, I think that's about all he wants. Yeah! 
left himself a tough nine ball here, Jim. Now, where would you play this shot, Lou? Would you try to cut it in? Well, or I'm would you a little bank bit it? more maniacal than the average player. I'd probably try and cut it in the right-hand corner pike and leave the cue ball on the end rail. In case I miss, they might say shoot again. Hit it pretty well. A nice well. cut shot there by Lou Hung Hung of Taiwan, who brings his team, the World All-Stars, a little bit closer to Team America. They now trail four games to two as we get ready for game number seven. Lou, we've been in Taiwan, Dusseldorf, Germany, now Scottsdale, Arizona. I'll take this beautiful hot weather any day of the year, Jim. I love the heat. Well, the heat is on right now, and it's on and the I'll World All-Stars. I think you're going to see a great attempt here for the nine ball. Uh, Francisco plays a real nice game of billiards, so he might try and thin the one or bank the one into nine. Oh, and look where it ended up. I think David might like this one, even if he can't see it clean. He'll try with a mass A. He'll spin the David ball. David says, don't Real worry. first. Real first, mass A. That's all. David Howard from Jacksonville, Florida. Wins game number seven as Team America now leads the World All-Stars five games to two. And right now we're watching Marcos Marquez, who has jumped the table with the cue ball. That's a foul ball, ball in hand, and it'll go to Johnny Archer. And Johnny is eyeing up that 1-9. He's eyeing up that 1-9. People in the crowd want him to shoot at it. See the one nine combination. They want a quick death. He better hurry. He's only got 10, so 10 seconds left on the shot clock. He'll get the shot Down off. Down to five. Time, I think. Johnny Archer. Big congratulations to him. A fine combination shot on the nine ball. They now lead the World All Stars six games to two. And Paul Portier from Canada will step to the table. The first thing they need is a ball, and believe it or not, they're leaving. Oh, That's another combination. Is he going to go for it now? Like I say about nine ball, Jim, there are times I'd rather be lucky than good because you keep setting up the one nines, uh, you can't fade that. I don't think he's going to shoot at it, Luke. He's not. He Buddy Howell, the rifleman, sends home another combination on the nine ball, and now Team America leads it seven games to two over the World All-Stars. Lou, how many combinations are we going to see in the first half? I don't know. You just saw uh, three uh, combinations and three shots. Uh, Frankie Hernandez from Puerto Rico. Once again, the way the balls roll, here he is. He's, he's either got to go rail first and try and hit the one in, or, uh, well, I didn't have a chance to say the aura. He had a chance to uh, jump over the six ball, but he didn't take his jump cue to the table. Jimmy Rippey hollering, where's the nine, where's the nine? He wants to shoot a one-nine combination, but he's not going to shoot at all. He's going to give it to Jose Parica from the Philippines. That was a good move because it was a straight-in shot and uh, had very little weight. Yeah. Here it comes again. He's eyeing up the one-nine. Looks like a one-nine carom here, not the combination, but the possibility of a carom. Jimmy I looks like he's drawing it. the one ball. Nice shot on the one. He didn't make the nine, which has been a rarity so far. I mean, every time Team America has shot, they've pocketed the nine ball somewhere. Strange beginning in this one. Three combinations in three consecutive shots and three consecutive wrecks. That is amazing. And now a very tricky shot on the three ball as he goes three or four rails with that and pockets it in the corner pocket. We're at the half, Lou, with the uh, Team America leading the World All-Stars by a devastating score of 7-2. to two. Stay tuned for the WTB Q-Tip of the Week. Go to your den, adjust your TV so you can see it from your pool table, turn on your VCR, put your pool cue together, and chalk it up. And get ready for your private lesson on Prime Network. And now your WTB Q-Tip of the Week with David Howard. Hi, I'm little David Howard from Jacksonville, Florida. The lesson here is a mass A shot. I can't see the one ball. The one ball is laying perfect, where if I hit the one ball, I'm going to make the nine ball in the corner pocket. I've got the four blocking me, so I can't go this way. And it's illegal to scoop under the shot. I could jump this ball, 
but my cue ball is going to be bouncing and it might jump off the table. A lot of the better players would probably spin the ball around and make the one ball, the combination like this. What you do to do that is you have to elevate to about a 45 degree angle. You have to hit the cue ball to the right of center. You have to hit down on the cue ball and it has to be a soft enough stroke to where you barely hit the surface of the table on the down stroke. If you hit it too hard, it's going to go out too far. If you hit it too soft, it's going to go in too quick. Now I'm going to try to hit this with the, just the right amount of spin. Scratch is a bonus in lessons. <laughs> Stay tuned for more action right here on Prime Network. We're back in Scottsdale, Arizona for second half action as Team America is leading the World All-Stars by a score of 7-2. to two. Jimmy Rimpey is at the table right now from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, nice shot. I'd also like to say hello to Jimmy's wife, Sally, who uh, is out there watching our broadcast back in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'd like to say hello to their family and friends. Nice shot here by Jimmy. Ran into a couple of balls, but came out of it pretty good. Big smile on Jimmy Rimpy's face. He says, hey, I can handle this six ball. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Valley of the Sun playing to a packed house as Team America takes on the World All-Stars. Once again, I'd like to thank uh, referee Rob Matson from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and our timekeeper Gary Brown from Phoenix, manager at the Golden 8 Ball, for doing a great job for us here while we're here in Phoenix. Yeah. So Jimmy puts Team America ahead. Game number 10 goes to Team America as Jimmy Rimpey clears the table. They now lead in the match eight games to two. Well, we got 18 minutes and 20 seconds left, Lou. Anything can happen. Feng Peng Chow from Taiwan has knocked the cue ball off the table. And Lori John Jones from New Jersey will now have ball in hand anywhere. And I like her chances of clearing this table, Lou. I think Lori John might just do that. She only has one ball to really get on. Oh, a little careless. A little careless, Lori John. Don't worry, Jonathan. She can't will believe it you. either. Lori John Jones, a former world champion in the art of straight pool, was the youngest ever to win a world championship. She won it at the age of 15 years old. Amazing. Right now, the cool cat, Ray Martin from Largo, Florida. That counts. He says, thank you very much. Well, uh, all Ray has to do here is pocket this ball, and the rest of this game uh, could be history. Ooh, we've a got a... Shot. We've got a blowout coming here. Team America leading eight games to two. Who would ever figured it over the World All-Stars? Well, I sure as heck wouldn't. I caught that just in time, didn't I, Jim? Mm -hmm. Right now we're watching former three-time world champion Ray Martin from Largo, Florida. Originally born and raised in New Jersey. And if you want a good book on pool, Ray's got one out. It's called 99 Critical Shots, and uh, believe me, it can help your game. Sounded like he miscued on that ball, Lou. Well, he hit it a little high and might have miscued a little bit, but he, he came out pretty good on it. Yeah, when you're playing with a Miyuchi cue stick, what's the difference? You miscue and make them anyway. It looks that way. It looks that way. Watching Ray Martin extend the lead to nine games to two. Mike LeBron from Puerto Rico steps to the table. Well, if anybody could uh, get the All-Stars rolling, this is the man who can do it. Mike is a great breaker and a great shot maker, so give him an opportunity and he might be the man. Doesn't look like he's getting the opportunity, though. Then again, you might watch this shot. Mike is the type of player who can kick in the one and slide up table for the two ball. Let's see what happens. He pocketed well, he the eight ball. Made the eight ball. He doesn't really have a shot here. Uh, shooting a half mass A going around the nine here. And he did a trick shot for the crowd. <laughs> what a 
about Mike LeBron from Puerto Rico. He is fouled, and now it will be Earl Strickland's turn at the table. Earl, a former two-time world champion. You've seen him many times on television, one of the great young talents in the world today. I wonder how many members World Team Billiards will have by the end of 1993. We've had so many requests from people here who want to run these tournaments in their billiard rooms and taverns. I, I think it's just going to take on all over the world. Speaking of all over the world, we have been all over the world. We started out in Taipei, Taiwan, then we went to Los Angeles, then Dusseldorf, Germany. Now we're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Prime Network bringing you the very best in well, pocket billiards. We started out with 10 teams this year, Jim, and it looks like we're going to have 16 for next year, and uh, who knows where this thing can lead to. Earl Strickland takes home game number 12 as Team America goes ahead of the All-Stars now by a score of 10 games to 2. The All-Star team has been bouncing the cue ball off the table. Uh, seems like they might be hitting the balls a little too hard. That time he didn't. Made a ball, I don't know what he's going to wind up with. It looks like he's going to have a fairly nice shot on the one ball. I can't see if anything else is in the way. No, he's got plenty of obstacles there. He's going to have to make a cross table shot here. These are not easy shots and the cue ball can get away from you. Ooh, we're watching Lu Kung Hung from Taiwan. I think uh, the All-Star team is going to be playing again. And I'm going to pick uh, Mr. Galindez here to pocket either the one or seven ball on this particularly tough shot. Going real first. Francisco Galindo from Mexico. Wow. It isn't the first time I've been wrong, and it's obviously not going to be the last time. Allen has a ball in hand. Uh, no easy run out here either, though. He's going to have to his work cut out for him. He's got to go down underneath the two, and then he's got to come back up table for a three. He could get under that seven. No, just escaped it. Just escaped it. He wasn't even worried for a second. Alan I think Hopkins. he was. Former world straight pool champion himself. His team having a good time tonight. They lead the world all-stars ten games to two. If you think that you've got a team capable of beating Team America, I'm going to tell you out there right now, just bring them on, because I feel we've got the greatest team in the world. We've won some, we've lost some, but I still think we've got a great team. Well, uh, I'd have to say that Team Puerto Rico begs to differ with you, <laughs> if you well, remember uh, back not too long ago. Like I said, uh, <laughs> we've won some, we've lost some, but uh, if I were to take the dream team and pick them, I couldn't pick a greater bunch of guys than what I've got lined up right now. I have to agree, you have a marvelous lineup there, Lou. From top to bottom, there's nothing but talent on Team America. Marcos Marquez from Mexico will now try to get his team back into winning form. They haven't won a game in quite some time, Lou. Team America is well, going to have to win this one. Really going to have to win this one. And this is a little uh, trickier now than when it looks. If I were him, I'd probably try and run into the nine ball here with a little bit of English and uh, just come with the shot up table with the nine. You called it right, Lou. I think he hit it a little bit too hard. He's got himself a real tough shot here now. It's not an easy shot to come with when your team is down 10 to 2. Oh, he got behind it, Lou. He and got behind scratched. it, and he has scratched, and Kim Davenport says thank you very much. There's no problem handling this one as Team America is about to go ahead 11 games to 2. Unbelievable. Pickering back and forth with some of his teammates. Hey, it's 11 to 2. I guess you can fool around a little bit. And with that, we are going to take a timeout as Team America leads 11 games to 2 over the World All-Stars. Don't go away. It's not over yet. We'll be right back on Prime Network.
We're back in Scottsdale, Arizona, as Team America has just rattled off eight wins in a row. They now lead the World All-Stars by a score of 11 games to two. I don't know that any one team will ever win eight games in a row again with this format. I just think it's uncanny that any team can do it. Especially when you take a look at the talent from the World All-Stars. I mean, uh, for them to lose eight games in a row, it just never figured to happen. Well, they had approximately five racks where they never had a chance, really. Paul just made a great shot there, coming back to the four. Paul Portier from Canada. Well, he's got a very ticklish shot here. He's got to slide over to the side rail, I think. Get, uh -huh. Very delicate shot. It looks like he's going to try and cut it in. This is not an easy shot, Jim. Does it have the speed to get there, Lou? Great. Yes, it does. A nice shot there by Paul, Paul Partier from Canada. And hit another one great. Really played a wonderful rack here for Paul. Started out making a good shot and just continued on making good shots all the way through. And winds up absolutely perfect on the nine ball. And breaks that winning streak we were talking about, Jimmy. And the World All-Stars finally come back with a win of their own. They trail now 11 games to three. He did crush them. David's pocketed the ball on the break, and he's well, been he's left with a bank shot. Cut off for him here. He's going to have to bank this and play position on a 2-8 combination. Not an easy task. Look at this nice shot. shot. How did he hit it? And the position. I think we'll have to take a look at that one again. What did they say, Jim? Same player shot that ball. What happened there? Up jumped the devil. Rush the shot just a little bit. With this format, they do have a tendency to rush a shot every now and then. Even though they've got plenty of time, 20 seconds is plenty of time. Watching Frankie Hernandez from Puerto Rico. You know, we've had some of these racks go complete in under uh, 38 seconds, I believe. Frankie Hernandez, the 23-year-old superstar from Puerto Rico who makes his home in Brooklyn, New York. Came a little higher there than what he wanted to. He might swing around table. That's what he's doing. Swinging around three rails. He looks pretty good. Well, a little far on that one. This could be a tickler shot. And the newness of the cloth, he's got to worry about a one-rail scratch here. Gives yet another win to the World All-Stars who trail Team America, 11 games to four. Well, the ball might have been a little bit loose. Uh, three of the balls hardly moved at all, but that's the fault of no one. Sometimes the balls just don't stick together perfectly. Jimmy's trying to cross over bank, or Johnny is, excuse me. He's got to come with a nice shot here. He's got to play the three and go one rail with the cue ball and draw into the 4-9 and hit that four just about full in the face in order to come out of this with any success. What is this? He looks like he's opting for a 4-9 carom. This is a very delicate shot here. But he's Good playing shot it. Of Aita, he is playing it. He is playing it. And he made it. There you go. Nice shot, Johnny Archer. The World All-Stars trailing Team America, 12 games to four. We're back with action here in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're watching Jose Perica from the Philippines break the balls for game number 17. The World All-Stars trailing Team America, 12 games to four. Well, he made four balls on the break, but he doesn't have an easy shot to start with. If he makes it, though, he... Hmm? Looks like they might be playing again. I don't think Team America is going to take this shot. 
Buddy Hall, the rifleman, says, I will pass. And you may shoot again, All-Stars. And with that, Feng Peng Chao, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, from Taiwan. Takes a spear at the two ball. No good. I think Buddy Hall is going to pass the shot again. Uh, what do you think? Well, Lord? if the four is in the way, he will. But if he can cut it in, he's going to shoot it. Because he'll probably come cross table again, run into the nine, and be absolutely perfect for the three ball. Just by hitting the cue ball a little bit high here. Mm. Well, he uh, overcut, overcut the room a rent, as we say. Try, buddy. <laughs> We hope you've been enjoying our broadcast from all over the world. This is our last show of the season. However, we will be back next year with more of the very best in pocket billiards on Prime Network. Watching World Team Billiard action here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Jimmy Mattai, and I'm standing here with Hall of Famer Lou Butera. And we're going to be back next year, Jim, with 40 hours of pool. 40 hours of programming that you can look in your TV guide and say, well, look what's on TV. Every Sunday night, we've got pool on TV. Second time around. Mike LeBron from Puerto Rico, missing the seven ball. Jimmy Rimpy, King James, as we call him, from Scranton, Pennsylvania, will now try a very difficult cut shot. Lou on the seven ball in the corner pocket. <laughs> nice shot, Jimmy Rimpy. He said, America's really playing good tonight, Dave. He said there was nothing tough about it. It's pretty easy to play uh, good when you're eight games up. Game. And at this stage of the game, Lou, it's all over for the All-Stars. Well, it looks that way, but I've seen uh, our, one of our teammates here, Buddy Hall, hit me with four nine balls in a row in a tournament recently. And, uh, you talking about I, four nine balls on the break? Four nines on the break. Mr. Cecil Buddy Hall against Lou Butera. And I will never forgive him for it. Right now, Buddy Hall is all smiles. Lori John Jones takes a look at the table and she says, no thanks, we'll hand it over to Francisco Galindo from Mexico. What he tried there was a very, very difficult, it, it's almost a trick shot, Jamie's trying to go into the rail with enough draw to hook the cue ball around. It's like a bank draw masse. It's a very difficult shot to execute. Especially on a strange table. Speaking of tables, we're playing on Conley. Conley pool tables, the very finest. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Conley Pool Tables, Miucci Originals, and New Image Q Cases, who's doing a great job with their case. They designed a great case which stands all by itself, and uh, all of the players will have their names on the cases very shortly. Wow, nice shot there, Lori John. She just uh, drawn the ball about 20 feet. Good. A little bit too good. She's going to have to come with a great bank shot here. I don't know if she could cut this one in. She's going to try to cut it in, Lou. She tried to spin that ball in. That would have been a great shot if she made it. Wound up a little too close to her work that time, but uh, like you say, the clock is ticking. We're Marcos down to Marquez. under two minutes, and no, I don't think, I don't think. I'm watching the cool cat, Ray Martin, former three-time world champion. Team America leading 13 games to four. Ray Martin says, hey, I want to make it 14 games to four. One of the great straight pool players of all time, Ray Martin. Shot there, cutting the seven ball down the rail was no easy shot. Good shot by Ray Martin. We are at 37 seconds and counting, Lou. Well, uh, it looks like Ray is putting another notch on the belt here. He's not going to let us go down uh, too easily here. And with that, Team America now leads 14 games to four. They're hollering to take time out. They want to get another game in if they can, but there goes the towel and there goes the World Team All-Stars.
Team America has defeated them very handily by a score of 14 to 4. I'm here with Team America. They've just knocked off the World All-Stars by a final score of 14 to 4. Alan, no one ever figured that you'd knock off the All-Stars that easily. Where was the turning point in the match? What do you mean no one ever figured it? How about those combinations we knocked in? Four combinations in a row. We just started to take it away right from there. Team America does it once again. I'm Jimmy Mattai, and for Prime Network, we hope you've enjoyed our season of Pocket Bears, and we promise you one thing. We're going to be back next year with more right here on Prime Network. This program has been brought to you by Mayuchi Originals, custom pool cue makers, worldwide sponsor of World Team Billiards, the cue choice of champions worldwide, and co-sponsored by Connolly Pool Tables, America's best billiard value. And by Qport Q Cases, manufactured by New Image Pool, proud sponsors of Team America. And by Clicks, the civilized billiards place. We're serious about the game.